All right, Jim, thank you. All new at 11 o'clock, a Cape Coral Uber driver suspected of stealing a customer's credit card information. And tonight, he's still driving around the Cape. A woman says she left her phone in her car. Instead of returning it, he apparently used it to order free food with her payment info. He well, <laughs> they, they ate quite a bit of McDonald's. Only the night beats John Carlos Estrada is speaking to that woman all new tonight. Amanda, that's right. That Cape Coral woman, she called for an Uber here at this pool hall in Cape Coral. She says that is the last time she saw her phone. Now, despite knowing who this Uber driver is and even contacting Cape Coral PD, that phone still remains missing and that driver is still a free man. I want my phone back. Aaliyah Demarine has been without a phone for four days. The last time she saw it, inside her Uber Monday night. She contacted her Uber driver, but nothing. The last time I did it, it sounded like he actually had blocked my number. Things got serious enough to get Kate PD involved when her credit card was charged. I have a receipt from Uber Eats. It is $55.67. That was charged. <laughs> they ate well. <laughs> they, they ate quite a bit of McDonald's. Her Find a Phone app kept showing a Cape Coral location at least three times. She knocked on the door and says her Uber driver's mom answered the door. The mother uh, was very helpful. I mean, but she really did not think her child would do something like this. At this point, he knows that uh, I am going to the cops to report this. While her phone is still missing tonight, she's canceled her cards and learned to put a password lock on her new phone. But she has a message for you. With one little slip or forgetting it at a coffee shop or anywhere that uh, the access to the world that you're allowing through that. As for the Uber driver she suspects took her phone and charged her cards. Kind of want the guy to, you know, get a charge. You could have made this simple and just called me back. <laughs> he could have returned the phone and it would have been that easy. And Kate Coral PD says they've made no arrest because of that credit card charge, though. They have put a detective, that, and that could be a felony charge now. Within the last 40 minutes, Uber has gotten back to us. They have blocked that driver from their app, so he's not able to work for Uber. Pending an investigation, they've also refunded that Uber Eats to that Cape Coral woman. On the night, be John Carlos Estrada, Wink News Now.